loco Yeah Cause when the gorilla shitting Everybody listens What goes on diesel in the house Thanks for tuning this up and liking in a positive manner baby Always positive, never negative, shutting haters down like like a sed a sedative, and all that good old yakety yak st stuff. Uh, come here real quick, man, to talk to y'all. Uh, I posted a video the other day about uh, the man, that that young man that, that lost his life in Memphis, unfortunately, the driver, man. And uh, I'm I'm being proud of Navy, man. I'm big on safety, uh, big on something big. More I'm big on awareness uh, and stuff like safety's cool, but my more. I think awareness lasts longer than safety. The safety people, it, you know, like during 9-11, everybody was patriotic. And, you know, oh, man, oh, I mean, the Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marines, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're going to kill Bin Laden. We're going to kick his fucking ass and blah, blah. And about a month later, everybody went back to their normal damn self. We could have prevented 9-11. If OPSEC, Operation Security, was in play, OPSEC has only nothing to do with military, also non-military members. If OPSEC was in play... You know, we had never really, really had anything like a like a, a terrorist attack happen in America. Uh, the American consulates overseas and stuff like that, our, our stuff, you know, in Europe and everything, and, 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 and the Middle East have been bombed, but never in the States. And a lot of us weren't really paying no attention. We didn't take it for, uh, we took our safety for granted. We take awareness for granted. We put it in other people's hands. We all need to be responsible for awareness right there, man. And, and don't get laxed. We get laxed and complacent when it comes to awareness and safety right there. So I'm, I'm just gonna talk about real quick, uh, just give you a quick couple of tips, where to park, where I would say park and why. I would say personally, when you park your trucks, y'all need to park closest to the entrance as possible. Face your nose clip, like say for example, let me take this off so you guys can see. You wanna face forward. Like you see these trucks over there, them trucks how they face the nose clip forward. You wanna park your nose clip forward, not backwards, like that trailer's facing that way, that flatbed. You don't wanna face that way. He probably parked that way because he was tired, he was too lame, lazy to back his trailer. But you wanna park your nose clip forward, you feel me? Just do that. Versus, you know, you, you pulling back in your nose clip into a spot, you're gonna be in between trailers. And you don't wanna be walking in between trailers and, and that can be really dangerous. Especially at nighttime when there's no lights. I know a lot of these, these truck stops have lights, pilots and stuff like that. And in fact, pilots have, have security on, on standby and stuff like that. But I wouldn't rely on them at all the time. I really, I rely on self, man, just to, just to be aware of my surroundings. Uh, park more closest to the entrance. That way when you get out, people can see you get out of your truck, especially women, ladies out there, you know. Uh, they snatching women up bad, snatch, snatching up these kids, doing crazy stuff like that, you know. And, and, and especially it's better with teams if you, if you drive as teams. If y'all gotta go to the bathroom, go together. Don't, you know, especially females, stay together, man, real talk. And I speak that on women because I have a daughter and I'm really big on safety when it comes, not only for the guys, but the ladies also, man, you, you feel me? Oh, uh, let me see what, what else, man. Like I say, the, the big, another thing I would say, man, is just, just be really, really careful. Do all you need to do while it's lit out, where there's a lot of light, you, you know. If you can get your loads all, planned and taken care of which i know you don't have, it's not don't you don't have nothing to do with it but like a reefer it works perfect flatbed run run all day we sleep all night now what that does basically sometimes we might get messed around and get jammed up and have to park four five six seven eight o'clock at night and that's hard to get a parking spot in the front so you got to park in the back unfortunately so i i would say personally if for example if, if you have to uh Park in the back. You, you need to go to the bathroom, take care of your business. I would say pull up to the fuel. And this is kind of paranoid to be saying this. Pull up to the fuel lot. Pull your truck up. Get your fuel. Use the bathroom. Get get your get your five hour energy. Get all your stuff you need for the next day. It, you know, if you ain't if you gotta be at your appointment the next morning, real quick. If you gotta start the truck and leave, or you can just go to the bathroom. You know, pull the fuel out. Go to the bathroom park your truck and stay in your truck for the night then get up the next morning after your 10 then pull up to the fuel out then get out and take care of your business when you go to the fuel out versus getting out the truck while you parked way in the back and walking from the back all the way to the front of the truck stop where you can't be seen walking in between trucks if that makes any sense 
So it's just common sense. It's just thinking before you act and thinking before you respond and, and just have, have, have safety sense. You know, just put yourself in. I would say really, man, and this is gonna be really obtuse to say this, put yourself in, in, in a sick motherfucking position. Think about a sick, sick person trying to kidnap you or do something crazy to you. How would he project his plan? What would he do? It's just chess, not checkers. Y'all follow what I'm saying? You know, you play this this dang like checkers, you're gonna lose. But if you play like, play like chess, you can anticipate that motherfucker's move every single time, oh, oh, okay? So park that truck up front, Park in a well lit space. Park, cut them, cut them park lights on. Also, that's another. Keep them lights. Park in a well lit area. If you can park up under one of these lights, right? Let me show you guys real quick. Y'all see, see those lights? With it certified, the scale sign and right where that light is up underneath. If you can park like up under them lights with them trucks like that, you in the house. Or if you can just park somewhere along, like right here, you even more in the house. You're e even perfect. One of the worst things you don't want to do is mess around and park up under a bridge at night. You don't want to park. And a lot of times that happens when you get to a receiver and they dumb asses, man, they're unorganized and they take forever to offload you and your clock is ticking down, it's running. One of the things you could do is ask them, look, hey, can I park here for the night? You might get lucky. It's a place I go and stop and shop in Chester, New York. Outside the fence line is lights. They got uh, little, little park porta potties and stuff like that. You can park right there, which is safe. It's fine and stuff like that. But you know, and then I think it's a rest stop down that road on two on uh, 287, I think it is, which is the Beltway that takes you to Connecticut. Uh, it's normally jammed to freak up. So, like I say, man, it's it's all about safety. It's all about awareness and everything like that. Plan all your stuff, everything you need to do during the daytime while the light is out. That's the biggest thing right there. Uh, another thing is like, if you take, say for example, one uh, one more thing I'm gonna cover is like. When you stop, like say to get a coffee or something, when you pick your loads up, when you pick your loads up, you might get some people get real inquisitive and want to ask questions. What's that you hauling? Where are you going? I'd make something up. I would tell them, hell, I'm, I'm, I'm going to New Mexico. Uh, I'm going this. They might ask you what route. Hey, the guy asked what route I'm taking. I'm like, damn, why you got to know all that? So a, a lot of people, man, get really curious about what you hauling, where you going. Don't tell them nothing. Treat this shit like the military. Keep a lock on your truck. Keep a lock on it because when you when it's dark, I mean they can easily try to pull a couple of boxes out of your trailer, and you don't want that to happen because you you're gonna be held accountable for this load, these, these, this this stuff that's missing out of your truck. So it's just it's just awareness, man. You want to try to attract the least amount of attention on you as possible. Attract the least amount of attention on you as 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 possible it's a couple of other things i could cover but i'm gonna do that on a later video right there okay i try to spread this stuff out amongst amongst videos because youtube ain't going forever it's going nowhere it's gonna be here for a lifetime pretty much so like i say man that's just some stuff i wanted to cover with you guys i hope that helped you guys out right there pretty much like and comment sub this vi this channel this is diesel hope i inspire you guys to stay safe and stay motivated out of there peace